Well, there's one reason why myself and Zach have massive smiles on our face. It's because behind us is Lake Dezeal. Something that we've waited for for absolutely months. Put the effort in, put the money in, certainly. And finally, here it is. Now the only thing left to do is nail the fish from there. Isn't that right, Zach? Yes, that's right. Sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the bait, uh, the bait, all the stuff, including the bait, and uh, from there, smash the rods out, and yeah, fingers crossed, get some luck for the night. Yes! <laughs> So it's the second night of our session down at Lake Dezeal. Zach's fishing behind us on the, on the island to um, a lovely little gravel patch just off the bunker. I've got one rod at 19 wraps fishing to a um, overhanging tree where fish are renowned to come off from. Um, and my other rod is fishing to the opposite margin of 22 wraps. All three of them rods that are fished to clip have uh, been baited up and then the other three rods which are all just our basic rods solid bags bushwhacker business that sort of thing so uh, fingers crossed for tonight we can uh, nail one but if not then uh, we'll see you in the morning okay guys it's the morning we've just woken up from a screaming run one toner after Countless liners through the night. Short could it be that long until the first night of that. With the moonlight touch, I can see your beads glistening. Grace released and colors just can see. Tell me, spirits, can you hear me? Are you listening? <laughs> just had first look in the end of that. Certainly not a sort of fish. Currently, 10 to 3 on Monday the 20th of February. Uh, one fish on the bank, landed by myself. <laughs> 38 pound, seven ounces. Fallen to the 22 wraps on the opposite side. Fingers crossed there's many more to come and fingers crossed one over that 40 pound mark. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, all I hope for now is that everybody else catches a fish. I've had my fun. Uh, 
Um, but don't get me wrong, I'm not going to complain if I have another fish, I won't complain. But yeah, let's just hope um, we can uh, all nail a couple more before we go on Saturday morning. So yeah. Wait. Hey. Go on, son. Caught my first 24 pounder. No PB as well. Caught on a scoop it squid cultured. Was left out about 24 hours. Just as we're going after another fish, my rod screams off. And uh, here we are, a lovely mirror. Well done, dumpling. Look at that for a peach. First French carp and all. Thank you. We slip her back and get some more then. Hopefully so. Hey! Yeah. Well, hey! Nice one, mate. I'm well confident. Cheers for baiting up my swim. My pleasure. Nice to dump it. Way, well, hey, quick food pick up. Oh my lord. Look at that. I'll tell you what. That's what I'm saying. Could you imagine, like, like your hunger wasn't a thing? Your hunger wasn't a thing? Imagine how much you'd be missing out, but you wouldn't realise. It's like now, there could be something we're missing out on, but we don't know. Imagine there was, like, a random word called, like, sphere or something, which was, like, a type of, like, satisfa satisfaction for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Well, maybe it's because they're really doughy. Like, with other sausages, like, I'll see you. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. What? You don't know that term. A doughy sausage. <laughs> right then, ladies and gentlemen. What's just happened, what you've just witnessed, is a savage liner. What I believed was a big carp shaking his head with my hook in his gob. Now, what happened last night before, uh, I say last night, last night early hours this morning, savage liners, savage liners are making you get up and run to your rod thinking it was going off. Now, what seems to be happening is that exact same scenario. So fingers crossed, it won't be long before another French carp grazes our net. Yes. Go on, Zach, hit it. Go on, Zach. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. We in? Yeah. Go on, son. Nice. Good lad. Come off, come off. Has he come off? I think so. Yeah. Come off. Oh no! Oh. Alright, ready for round two then, Zach? Yeah, I was just about to cast my rod out. Off is about to go round and bait up my swim for me. Um, and obviously catch fish. Let's hope so. Right, I'll see you in a minute, mate. Yeah. 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 But nonetheless, an absolutely peach of a common. Coming in at 19 pounds smack on, falling to the far margin spot of 22 wraps. Uh, three grains of fake corn. Put up a hell of a scrap considering the size, but I suppose the stock he's doing uh, in that way. But um, yeah, an absolutely pristine common. Right, there we go, half ten at night, rod screams off again, 19 pound on the nose, on the uh, far marginal spot, fishing to um, green nano uh, bite lights, quite clearly landing it directly on the spot every time due to the super bright um, LED beam which is the bite lights, uh, link to the website will be in the description or you can purchase them from me personally by just messaging me, um, emailing me, um, an absolute new edge to your fishing and if I was spawning, huge edge to your spawning as well. However, nonetheless, they're really good for placing markers on the opposite bank if you're fishing to the opposite bank at night time. Uh, they give you a target to see. Um, and yeah, Zach was just around there now, uh, getting ready to chuck some bait over the spot for me whilst I was around here. First first attempt, straight on top of the bite light. Um, and Zach said it couldn't have been any more perfect. Same for Zach on the other spot, bite light positioned in. Um, in his sight and yeah first cast it's, it's a proper edge um so definitely take a look at them anyway rather than that rods back on the spot four handfuls of uh our our bait mix which i will be showing to you guys tomorrow um and yeah fingers crossed for another bite i mean the pressure's plummeting down which is really really good for us it's been quite high pressure since we started now on our side we've had three fish now however on mum and dad's side which is down the other end of the lake I don't know what's happened. I'll only find that out in the morning. Um, although I have advised them to give me a call um, through the night. There we go. Mum's first fish of the trip. How big is it, Mum? 20 pound... Um, five five ounce. ounce. 20 pound, five ounce, which her previous PB was 20 pound... No, 20 pounds. Back on, yet. Yeah. So, five, pound. five ounces over yeah, that five magical over. PB. <laughs> PB's everywhere. What's happening, bro? What's happening? Come on, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Ready? <laughs> yeah, well done, mum. Lovely looking Thank fish. Thank Well done. 
Let's go, 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 go. like to guess but a half decent fish holding it very heavy right? <laughs> once this trip but I've gone and beaten it again just by a few pounds do you know what that means it takes me over that magic 40 pound barrier I'm welcomed into the 40s club with this immaculate 40 pound one ounce common fall into the 22 wraps and three grains of classic artificial corn absolutely buzzing <laughs> Okay then, so I think it's about time we start talking about the rigs we've been using on this session and why. Um, so this rig here is known as the German rig, um, a rig I have a lot of faith on in my angling. Um, since it was one of the first rigs I started using um, when I first started tying a few years ago. Um, it's given me great success over the years. You can fish it pop up, you can fish it wafter, you can fish it bottom bait, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, the most important thing, hook holds are incredible on it. Um, and that's just simply down to the shape of the hook. Now, the most famous hook that I've been using for it is the Nash Pinpoint Size 4 Micro Barb Twister. Now I say size 4, that's just what we're using on this session, however you can use whatever size obviously um, you use. Um, the material you use is depends on what situation you're fishing, but in this situation I originally planned to be fishing with a bushwhacker, but obviously um, I don't think I can ship a bushwhacker 22 wraps out, but anyway. Um, so I've been using uh, some semi-stiff uh, skin link. 20 pound breaking strain, that's been the one at the moment, gravel brown colour um, and it's a coated hook link that you can strip back really really easily um, and it's in the name semi stiff and the results on it are absolutely 
brilliant. <laughs> and before I start mumbling off, it's it's just a rig. I mean, there's various rigs you can use um, for loads of different situations. Now, you won't ever beat a hair rig, some say. I disagree. There's a lot of situations that different rigs come into their own. Um, but this rig specifically, I found to be spot on for pretty much everything. Um, but with that, accompanied by it, we have got a um, very simple piece of 1mm shrink tubing, which is just here on the hook. I have started using hook kickers. I found to be uh, better hook holds with them just because I think the angle is a little bit better um, than shrink tubing. However, I ran out of hook kickers. Always remember your hook kickers if you're going to France. Um, and then just a simple uh, hook link sleeve, long Nash hook link sleeve. Again, all gone with the gravel brown colour, knowing that the bottom was uh, was clay, silty, gravelly. It all matches that sort of colour. So as hook components, the only things that you're really using are a simple shank stopper slash hook bead and a very simple micro ring swivel or a micro rig swivel, whichever you want. Um, they're both both the same, they both do the same. I mean, I just picked up micro rig swivels, it was the first thing I saw. Um, and then from there, just very plain and simple uh, fake corn as a hook bait. Um, that's been what's doing us the business. Um, now you'll see right now the video I'm putting in uh, is GoPro footage of my of the rig, the hook link, the hook bait, um, how it looks presented on the lake bed. Now it fishes like a wafter, it's critically balanced, slow sinking, um, and it's picked up so many fish. I think it just catches their eye. It's like fishing match the hatch, but standing out your hook bait at the same time, because uh, I'm not a fan of pop-ups personally, so I'd like to fish something that will stand out generally. Um, and these three grains of towery corn, wafter style, um, seems to do the job. Two pop-up, one slow sinking, it creates that sort of balance. Um, and yeah, it's, it's proven that carp of all sizes certainly don't neglect it. So um, yeah, it's a perfect match the hatch rig. So if you wanted to fish over corn, good way of using it but I wouldn't always fish free grains I'd only fish free grains if I'm fishing heavily with corn and um, if I'm only light feeding maybe two maybe one grain of corn uh, we're talking artificial um, but generally that's what I've been using on this session and all components you see uh, in front of you now um, they have all been purchased from my uh, local tackle shop that I work at the angling center in Hereford um, so we do actually do online, we have a website and all the rest, Facebook page, Instagram um, and I do sell directly through my account as well, my Facebook account. Um, so if you are interested in any products at a good price, um, free delivery, drop me a message, uh, drop me a call and yeah we'll see what we can sort out for you. Even though I swore Pancake Day was in like March, April, it's Pancake Day today. The chef's only gonna make his pancakes. Way! Off is a receiver goes. Can't find my head torch. Fun times. Well, the rod's going off, Alfie. Alfie. I said your parents' rods are going off as well. Your parents' rods are going off as well. Is it? Yeah. Alfie, come here, come here, come here, come here. Zach's in as well. Big one, right. Oh my God, Alfie. Oh. Hey. Come on, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Potential new personal best for Zach. Let's go. We got £24 to beat. Let's see uh let's see what the lucky Rubens bring us. Got him on there. Oh, it's slip. Go on. That's him, nice. Oh, yeah. Right. So I said it was a PB. And your new PB is £27, 7 ounces. Let's go. Okay, here we are. I've just caught my second PB of the trip. £27.7 Caught on again A Scoopex Cultured um, oh. Yeah, to me it was a state of rain or fish for that Oh, 
thing is good old maggots now Off what I got a pipe. where yeah, I, where I saw it come in once and then I saw it come in once more e. uh -huh. absolute unit of a pike Check that out. <laughs> nice one, mate. Just well nailed, done. Nailed on the jig. Okay then, guys. I think it's about time we start talking about the bait mix I've been using down at Lake de Zeal in France. To start off with, we've got Sticky Baits Manila, a flavour I've got true confidence in using throughout the colder months, and since introducing it into my armory, my catch rate has improved massively. Next thing on the list is Sticky Manila Glug, a really good additive to any of the Manila range from Sticky Baits. The next one speaks for itself. Good old sweet corn. What carp does not like sweet corn? It's super easily digestive and super visible. Next one on the list is maggots. Now they speak for themselves in all. What fish does not like maggots and especially in the winter months? So the last two things on the list are Bruno's very own party mix and hemp. Now I'm not gonna lie, the way he's cooked this hemp is absolutely top notch. Uh, it, it just splits away in your fingers with no pressure at all. That's what you want, really easily digestible baits, and especially through the colder months. When them carp are around your swim and they're grubbing around, you don't want anything that's gonna stick inside them for too long. You want them to eat it, push it out, and carry on eating. Now, if they keep it in them, say whole boilies, for example, um, tiger nuts, they will get full faster, meaning obviously they won't be feeding as much. So by using something that's super light and fluffy as a mix, you're ensuring that the carp are gonna feed, push it out, carry on feeding that's why this mix is super light and fluffy and has been catching down at Lake de Zeal in France jazz to me is a state of life being a state of existence you can't learn it in uh, colleges or universities it's something that you can live with yeah. Yeah, 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 fish on, fish on. Fish on. Yeah. Yeah.
10 ounce well please. Well done and welcome to the Ferties Club. Caught on three fake corn. Get in there. Go on the trace. Oh, the chef. I know it. <laughs> heavy is it? Really heavy, yeah. yeah. No, oh, lovely stuff. Well done, mum. Thank you. A state of existence. You can't learn it in uh, college or university. It's something that you live and experience. Right then, so uh, absolute s savage take. I feel like we're hooked into something absolutely massive. Zach is a big fish. Is it? It feels bigger than all the rest so far. Get in the net, come on. Nice one. Oh, that's the biggest fish in the lake. Oh my god, mate, that is massive. Oh <laughs> my god, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my, my day. God. What's that reading? Is. What's that saying? 66. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, hold on. Stop. 60. 65 pounds. New oh, record. That's, that's a leg record, mate. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift it or not. There we go. What an absolute beast. 65 pounds, new lake record, new PB, caught three grains of fake corn. <laughs> <Way! laughs> Look at the skills in that one. Now, realistically speaking though, that's gonna be like easily 100 pound plus, isn't it? if that's a yeah. fish. But there we go, guys. Lake the zeal. <laughs> <laughs> Fish on. I didn't even hear it go. No. You can see on the camera footage afterwards, I ran to it, press and record. And it was just like, beep. What do you reckon, 20 pound? Yeah, <laughs> that's a fight. Hey, nice one, Alfie. Come on. Well done, Al. Thank you. 
there we go another lake to seal stocky 19 pound on the nose we have already checked if it's the same fish i caught the other night and uh it's not thankfully but um yeah what another stunning little common from Dizil. nice one okay then guys so as you've seen it's coming to the end of our first <laughs> okay yeah. there was no leaf flat at all uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right hold on okay then guys so as you've seen it's coming to the end of our session down at Dizil in france um, to be honest, it's been a successful one. Personal best everywhere. Have you enjoyed your first ever trip to France? Yes, I have. Good. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, I've been my PB twice. Um, everyone's got their PB as well. So it's been a brilliant session. It's been spot on, yeah. So a uh, £40 target reached. Zach up to a uh, 27.7. Mum with a £30-pounder into the 30s club. Dad along with his uh, new personal best common carp, £28, and me with more 30s than I've ever caught in one session in my life, including obviously the three year target of a £40-pounder. So um, yeah, absolutely buzzing is an understatement. So what we're going to do now is just finish getting all the stuff together, load up the van, um, and yeah, if we don't see you in a night with a fish, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, so just to finish off, um, I just want to say a big thanks to Alfie's mom for cooking all the food and uh, it's been absolutely brilliant, had an amazing time and yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, so uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, no way, what are you f***ing saying? Yeah. Dinner. Yeah, give me five minutes, we just film a clip and then you just like called at the worst time ever. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's Axe in. Go on, Zach. Oh, head torch. You in? Yeah, come on. Go on. Go on, son. Oh, he's on camera as well. Here you go. I, uh, I shall supply you with light. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, nice one, Zach. Good on you. I'll go grab the net, okay? Yeah, no, it's, it's on the pot. So it's very unfortunate Zach has false hooked this uh, this mirror carp. However, we're going to take the opportunity to showcase one of Dezeal's lovely mirror carp. Very unfortunate. There she goes. With a bit of attitude as well. Oh, I'm good for you, mate. I see. There we go. Dad's second fish. Yeah. Been a hard week for me this week, but this is a nice to have a second one on the bank on the last night. Gives me a little bit of hope <laughs> for the future. No, that's the way. <laughs> Pulled through and we dad grafted away. Yeah. Lovely twenty pound six ounce common. One of Dizil's beautiful hand picked stockies. Mm -hmm.